Yeah. And then just lastly, Abraham's been talking a lot about how Esther's been following her impulse to act. And I just wanted to, just clarification on, because I've been practicing that more, be in the middle of stretching and need to call someone or what have you. And I've just noticed that by following the impulse more of the time throughout my day, many times throughout the day, has just really shifted. When, when in, so, you, so you work, you all do, to put yourself closer into vibrational frequency of your broader perspective. Your broader perspective who has a broader view. Your broader perspective who really does know where you stand in relationship with everything you want and what the path of least resistance is in the accomplishing of anything you want. So for whatever reason, you find yourself in a non-resistant state and the vibration is translated at an unconscious level by you into something that you perceive and you say, oh, I got an idea. Or you don't say it, but you got an idea. The timing of that idea matters. Sometimes you'll just keep doing what you're doing and you'll think I'll write that down or I'll do it later or I'll keep a list. So let's say that you are doing whatever you're doing and ideas are coming and you're not acting on them. You're just writing them down as they come. Well, acting on them later is far less productive because the source within you was presenting the idea to you in a focused enough way that when you received it, that means that's the time to act on it. Precisely. Yeah. Your inner being isn't saying when you get around to it, <laughs> your inner being is saying, you know, that thing you want that you're in the process of unfolding. Here is a piece of the path of least resistance that if you will take it will be a big payoff now, 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 now. But when you aren't sensitive, you miss it. Or when you are sensitive, but you are not understanding the perfection of the point of view of source, so you discount it, then sometimes your timing is less good. doesn't matter because it'll come around again and again and again. Source will never stop giving it to you. But it's so satisfying when you feel the impulse and act on it. Years ago, Jerry and Esther went into the little town where the post office is. It's Bernie near San Antonio. And they were collecting their mail and there was a big storm and the rivers had come over their banks and the post office was surrounded by water. They couldn't even get their mail. And so they called a friend who was in San Antonio because they knew that their friends lived on a ranch in San Antonio, a thousand acres, and the Cibolo Creek went right through their ranch. And it was the Cibolo Creek that was overflowing its banks. And so Esther called and said, Cibolo's over its banks and it's headed your way. And so they had time to get the tractors out of the field and the cattle out of the field and the horses out of the field. And then their friend called and said, it's so nice to have a friend who is upstream. <laughs> And that's what we want you to understand that you've got. You have a friend who is upstream with an overview and with keen interest in the success of everything that is important to you. So we know we've spent a lot of time talking about this path of least resistance, this path to alignment, this path to greater perception, this path to better translation, this path to more sensitivity at early stages. But it is so exhilarating when you work in concert with all of the resources that you have been garnering over lifetimes, you see. And what is it with humans that makes you want to go it alone? It's that someone has convinced you that source is separate from you, not true at all, and that you are here to prove worthiness to source, not true at all, that you need to behave in ways to please source, also not true because you are always pleasing source. So you have fashioned a separation between you and the very thing that you're seeking all the time. All of this is fitting together for you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Enough? Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Yes. Yeah.